It all began on that very day. The sun rose as usual, as had risen for thousands of years. Bob was sleeping as usual, and just like all other days, his clock yelled. Bob got out of home and saw Patrick sleeping. Then he saw Carol, who despite all troubles, was still having a burger. And as usual, cops were chasing criminals. Mr. Krabs was doing what he loved. This is the cross to crab where you can find the best burgers of Bikini Bottom. Bob was serving burgers and everything was going normally when everyone found out their fate was twisted. Thousands of years of civilization and just two world wars? It's a shame! <laughs> they had run out of the special spies! and they could make no more burgers. Out of a sudden, a dangerous thought struck Mr. Krabs. City of Horror. Well, it took half a second for Bob to convince Patrick so that they can endanger their lives for the aspiration of picking a bottom and head the way to the city of horror. Oh, Gary. However, a mysterious call made the job more difficult for Bob and Patrick. They kept going. They kept going and going again. Hey, why aren't they there yet? Road signs were something to lead Bob and Patrick to an exit, but Dom couldn't make sense of their large number. So Dumber provided an explanation. Bob and Patrick were not the ones to give up. And it was Patrick who, thanks to his genius, was trying to find a way. It was the way Bob and Patrick solved the problem and continued along their treacherous path. Ah. As Patrick's calculations showed, no meteor was about to fall there.
Their mouth was open for about 17 days and 16 hours and 15 minutes and 88 seconds. <coughs> As they saw the sign, Bob and Patrick took the wrong way. Until they met the owner of one of the loveliest voices and the most handsome and the friendliest citizen of this city. Who is me? <laughs> <laughs> 